Hi everybody, I'm um, just making a kind of a quick video just to explain to a few people how to configure your controller so you can use the analog sticks for GT2 in EPSXE. I know it's a pain in the ass and some people can't do it and there hasn't really been a, a solution anywhere that I can find so I've just made this quick video just so I can help you guys out. So the first thing you're probably going to need is a, a program from Motion & Joy called the DS3 Gamepad Tool. Now this thing allows you to use gamepads like Logitech stuff, PS3 controllers, Xbox controllers, Mad Cats, all that sort of stuff. And what you're going to need to do is plug in your, your controller and you'll see that it'll flash. The second thing you need to do is update the drivers. That's a really important thing. So click that. It'll say load all. When you press that, that'll just load it up and load it in. Second of all, install them. So you load them and you install them. Right, and then you go back to your home, and the thing you need to pay attention to here is what option to pick. The one you want is the second option, which is the PlayStation 2 with analog sticks. This one is the one that you, you would mostly use for EPSXE or other emulators. So click that, hit enable, it should go boom. <laughs> go to that button click it, properties, and then have a wiggle with the sticks as I'm doing now and everything will move around and if it's working correctly you can go through all the buttons and check them if you want it should work, just like that, analog sticks triggers everything now what you need to do is just minimize it, don't close it and then you need to find your EPSXE where have you put it Open it up. Right now, what you need to do is you need to go to configuration, which is beside file and run. It's important as well here. I'm using the 1.7, which is the most update EPSXE emulator, so I'd advise you to use that one too. So go to config, go to controllers, right at the bottom. Now it's really important to pick the option that says dual analog F5 there's loads of other options here but for this game for this controller to use these analog sticks you need the one that says dual analog F5 so when you pick that you can go through each individual button and assign them as you would so once you've done all that you can go through all of them if you want just press OK now is the time to run the game so go file run ISO find where you've put your game I've got it in the document somewhere Double click it and it should just start up. I have mine running in a window at the minute, but you can run it at your screen resolution if you like. So just let it load up. You don't need to do anything, just make sure your controller is still connected. You've got your DS3 tool still open in the background. Right, here's your menu. If you've got everything configured correctly, you should be able to just move around quite easily. So go to your options, find key configuration. Now you'll see the first option here is steering. And this is what the really important bit is. You won't be able to change this with the D-pad to your analog stick just yet. So what you need to do is you need to press your F5 key. As you can see, that changes the analog. And then you can change it to your left to right analog stick, but why would you want to use your right analog stick to steer? Or back to your D-pad, but just keep it on your left analog stick by just pressing left on the D-pad. That's it. That's you done. Go down to the bottom, hit exit, go back to your main menu, start your game. Hope that's helped everybody guys. I know it's it's been a right pain in the ass to try to try to get it to work over the last wee while, so I hope that that quick little tutorial 
and helped. I'll put some details in the description for links for the Motion Enjoy DS3 tool for the emulator itself. And if you have any questions about it or any any confusions, just pop it up. And thanks for watching, guys.